taxation is the inherent power of the state to impose and demand contribution upon persons, properties, or rights for the purpose of generating revenues for public purposes. It is a means of the government in increasing its revenue under the authority of the law, purposely used to promote welfare and protection of its citizens. It is also the process by the sovereign, through its lawmaking body, raises revenues to use to defray expenses of the government. It is also the collection of the share of individual and organizational income by a government under the authority of the law. Taxation is also the means by which a government or the taxing authority imposes a tax on its citizens and business entities. From income tax to goods and services tax, taxation applies to all levels. So the primary purpose of taxation is to generate funds or revenues to defray expenses incurred by the government in promoting the general welfare of its citizens. It is also to provide funds or property with which to promote the general welfare of its citizens and to enable it to finance its multifarious activities. The secondary purpose of taxation is to strengthen anemic enterprises by giving tax exemptions. It is also to protect local industries against foreign competition through imposition of high custom duties on import. Good day everyone, this is Talon Palingay and today I will be talking about the principles of taxation. So first, let's define what are taxation principles. Taxation principles are the guidelines that a governing entity should use when devising a system of taxation. So these principles including the following items. So first, we have a broad application. The system of taxation should be spread across a broadest possible population so that no one person or entity is taxed excessively. Instead, the interpopulation shares in the taxation burden. The second one is tax usage. Taxes are only targeted at a specific use when there is a clear cause and effect between the tax and the use. In all other cases, taxes are collected for general usage. Otherwise, special interests will receive preferential funding. The third one is ease of compliance. The administration of taxation should be as simple as possible so that the taxpayer will have a little difficulty in complying with the tax payment requirements. Ideally, the taxation process is invisible to the taxpayer. The fourth one is expenditure matching. The level of taxation should approximately match the amount of projected expenditures, so that the governing entity is prudent in covering its costs, but does not tax an excessive amount. The fifth one is fairness in application. The type of tax imposed should present an equal burden on all taxpayers in the same economic condition. Further, the tax should not favor one group over another, so that one group receives a tax benefits at the expense of another group. The next one is the limited exemptions. Any exemptions from a tax should be for a limited period of time and for a specific purpose, after which the exemptions are eliminated. These exemptions are only intended to encourage certain type of behavior, usually involving economic development. The next one is collection cost. The cost required to collect a tax should be low so that the net receipts resulting from them as are high as possible, otherwise a tax is not cost effective. Lastly, we have understandability. The calculation and payment of a tax should be easy for a taxpayer to understand. Otherwise, the amount of taxes remitted may be incorrect. What is the doctrine of taxation? Taxation is the inherent power of the sovereign exercised through the legislature to impose burdens upon subjects and objects within its jurisdiction for the purpose of raising revenues to carry out the legitimate objects of government. Lifeblood Doctrine Without revenue raised from taxation, 
the government will not survive, resulting in detriment to society. Without taxes, the government would be paralyzed for lack of motive power to activate and operate it. Necessity Theory The exercise of the power to tax emanates from necessity. Because without taxes, a government cannot fulfill its mandate of promoting the general welfare and well-being of the people. Benefits Receive Principle Taxpayers receive benefits from taxes through the protection the state affords to them. For the protection they get arises their obligation to support the government through payment of taxes. Doctrine of Symbiotic Relationship Taxation arises because of reciprocal relation of protection and support between the state and taxpayers. The state gives protection and for it to continue giving protection. It must be supported by the taxpayers in the form of taxes. What is the basis of taxation in the Philippines? The basic source of Philippine tax law is the National Interval Revenue Law, which codifies all tax provisions, the latest of which is embodied in Republic Act No. 8424 or the Tax Reform Act of 1997. may encounter a large rate of taxes. They may have to pay an extra tax when they visit to another country or an exit tax when they leave. They may pay a carbon or noise tax when they are taken during their stay. They encounter taxes they paid on their purchase ranging from the hotel rooms, restaurant meals, gifts and souvenirs, cars, rentals, admissions to visitor, attraction, and so on. Tourist businesses such as hotels, travel agencies, and car rental companies must pay businesses and property taxes that are solely paid on the non-tourist businesses. Travel tax is a levy imposed by the Philippine government on individuals who are leaving the country in respective of place where the air ticket is issued and the form or place of payment as provided for the Presidential Decree PD 1183 as amended. Pursuant to Section 73 of Republic Act No. 9593, 50% of the proceeds from the travel tax collection shall accrue to the TISA, 40% shall accrue to the cheat for tourism-related educational programs and courses, and 10% shall accrue to the NCCA, National Commission for Culture and Arts. These are the forms of taxation. Online travel tax system, full travel tax, travel tax exemption, directory of travel tax offices, travel tax services, reduced travel tax, travel tax refund, citizens' charters. So these are the travel tax rates. Full travel tax, standard reduced travel tax, privileged reduced travel tax for a dependent of an overseas or Filipino workers of FW. First class passage, economy class passage. As you can see, first class has a highest payment than the economy class passage. What is airline ticket tax? Airline ticket tax shall be collected for tickets issued or reissued. This fee will be reflected as ticketing service charge or included in the communications fee in the tax box. The fee applies in addition to all charges and is not subjected to any discount or commission. What is a value-added tax? A value-added tax, known in some countries as a goods and services tax, is a type of tax that is assessed incrementally. It is divided on the price of a product or service at each stage of production, distribution, or sale to the end consumer. What is applicable in tourism development affects higher taxation of the industry. Tourism is sensitive to taxes, but it cannot be exempt from them since it is a significant source of revenue for the budget. 
Value-added tax most strongly affects the tourist competitiveness of the country. When is our income taxable? The Philippines traces its residents on their worldwide income. Non-resident citizens and aliens, whether or not resident in the Philippines, are taxed only on income from sources within the Philippines. Thank you.